Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to be making our way to the Cabot House. But before we do, let's go ahead and do some side questing. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is go into the third rail. We're going to pick up Mick Greedy, or as I like to call him, Mick Greedy. I toss out the troublemakers. I'll keep that in mind. Can't say I'm surprised to find you in a dump like this, McCready. I was wondering how long it would take your bloodhounds to track me down, Winlock. It's been almost three months. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. Should we take this outside? It ain't like that. I'm just here to deliver a message. In case you forgot, I left the gunners for good. Yeah, I heard. But you're still taking jobs in the Commonwealth. That isn't going to work for us. I don't take orders from you. Not anymore. So why don't you take your girlfriend and walk out of here while you still can? What? Winlock, tell me we don't have to listen to this shit. Listen up, McCready. The only reason we haven't filled your body full of bullets is that we don't want a war with Good Neighbor. See, we respect other people's boundaries. We know how to play the game. It's something you never learned. Glad to have disappointed you. <laughs> you can play the tough guy all you want. But if we hear you're still operating inside gunner territory, all bets are off. You got that? You finished? Yeah. We're finished. Come on, Barnes. Look, pal. If you're preaching about the Atom or looking for a friend, you've got the wrong guy. If you need a hired gun, then maybe we can talk. Maybe. Why don't you tell me who those guys were first? A couple of morons looking to climb the ladder of success by stepping on everyone else on the way up. Shouldn't be surprised, though. That's how it goes when you run with the Gunners. Never heard of the Gunners. Who are they? One of the biggest gangs in the Commonwealth. Got a rep for being crazy. You know, so tightly wound, you think they were a cult or something? Stuck with them for a while because the money was good, but they never fit in. That's why I made a clean break and started flying solo. Now what about you? How do I know I won't end up with a bullet in my back? Are you always this suspicious? Hey, you approached me. And frankly, I'm taking a huge risk being out here in the Commonwealth in the first place. So I'm not about to leave anything in chance. Which brings me back to my original question. Can I trust you? Hold on. What kind of risk are you talking about? I already told you way too much. I need to learn to keep my big mouth shut. Look, I'm tired of playing 20 questions. So I'll cut you a deal right now. 250 caps. Up front. And there's no room for bargaining. What do you say? Everything's negotiable. Would you take 200? You drive a hard bargain. But you just bought yourself an extra gun. All right, boss. Let's get out of here. Let's go ahead and talk to Whitechapel Charlie. Yeah. I'll do the boys a favor with Make all free. my manual Boy, labor. Don't fear. You ain't buying beer. You ain't good, buying. Good, 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 good. Who's the singer? That is Magnolia, the flower of the third rail. Anything you want to know about her other than that is her business. Now, you're going to order? The third rail. Is this your place? What? Nah, God. Place is Hancock's. Old Charlie just keeps the floor clean and the drinks dirty. <laughs> so, you're buying a what? So Hancock's the owner? That's right. Owner and mayor of this whole bloody town. Trust me. Never get on his bad side. Oh, and uh, stay clear of his bodyguard. So, what's your poison? 
Hancock has a bodyguard? Yeah. A redhead with the condescending stare. Trust me, Gov, something about her ain't right. Not that I'd ever admit saying that. I'm trying to sell drinks here. You in? What's the word around town? Well, they say there's a newcomer around here who doesn't understand that I'm a bartender, not a damn news pop. Now, are you going to drink? Okay, so if we want to get a side quest from Whitechapel Charlie, we have to buy something. So what I recommend is just buying a beer or whatever's cheap and then talking to him. I'll take a look, sure. Don't have more than you can handle. Now that you're lick it up, got a proposition for you. I need a dirty boy to do some dirty, dirty work. Blood on the pavement, bodies in the ground, that kind of thing. Interested? I want to hear the details first. I got a certain anonymous client who's paying top dollar for a clean-up job. Three locations. Everyone inside. No witnesses. Only catch? It's all in town. The old warehouses, so I can't use my regulars. Too noticeable. That's where you come in. The job's 200 caps. Payment after it's done. And don't worry. I'll know when it is. I don't do work, unless I know who's paying the bills. All right, Gov. Not like it's a big secret who I represent. Mayor Hancock is fronting the caps. Internal political struggle. You know how it is. Look, it's nothing you need to be concerned about. Just clear out the warehouses and get paid. Simple. Three locations? That's a lot of time. A lot of bullets. Well, I guess we could sweeten the pot a bit. 250. Too low. Barely covers the risks. All right, Gov. 300. More money, Charlie. Listen here, you. I'm playing Ring Around the Rosie with no iron gun. Now the client's offering 200 for the job, and 200 is what you'll get. I'll get it done. <laughs> you better. Now go out there and bust some heads. Hey. What, you need something to take the edge off? Fred Allen, Hotel... Man, I keep failing these speech checks, even though my charisma's super high. <sighs> Nothing says welcome like the stench of urine-soaked garbage. Let's go ahead and go into our pit boy. We're going to put on Where is it at? We'll put on uh special delivery. I believe it is Yeah, there we go. And we're not going to have that on. So what we're going to do is we're going to crouch, make sure that you're not seen, and we're going to pick the lock and go inside. Nice. McCready likes when you steal. He also likes when you ask for more money. Hello? You ice him!
Kind of clean them out for whatever you need. I wasn't sure if I picked that up because McCready walked in front of me. Alright, now to the next spot. Got it. Don't you die on me! Let's go into our pit boy. Put one point into rifleman. Damn, I am being super sneaky today, aren't I? I like that. Okay, let's go down to the last spot. Yes. We're going to come over here, crouch again, get really close, make sure you're not seen, or else the guards will shoot you. Yes. Hey, you find it yet? What's the holdup? I got a lot of boxes, what okay? The? Just hold on to your ass. It's like all I'm good for is waiting around. Ah! What the? Oh, I'll fight oh, him. I was just starting to have fun. Damn, as soon as we got in here, everybody noticed us. Enjoy your coffin. Okay, I don't think there's much left over here to loot. We'll come up here real quick just to check. Yeah, 
Okay, let's go head back to Whitechapel, Charlie. Downstairs. Don't bother the other patrons. Looks like we got another freak just won't fit anywhere else. Charlie. I've heard some exterminator cleaned out the rats in the old warehouses. Wouldn't know anything about that, would you? I might. Depends on what you have for me. Here you are. Every single cap. As agreed. Better keep your iron strapped on. Friendly advice. Let's go talk to Hancock. Your buddy McCready's got a rep here in Good Neighbor. Bad attitude. Good aim. Too bad about Finn. Gonna miss him next Super Mutant Attack rolls round. Oh well. What can I do for our newcomer? What's your story, Hancock? My favorite subject. I came into this town about a decade ago. Had a smooth set of skin back then. While I was busy making myself a pillar of this community, I would go on these, like, wild tears. I was young. Any chems I could find, the more exotic, the better. Finally found this experimental radiation drug. Only one of its kind left, and only one hit. Oh man, the high was so worth it. Yeah, I'm living with the side effects, but hey, what's not to love about immortality? You're immortal? Well, not exactly. Ghouls just age really, really slow. Something about the rads, maybe? Oh, who knows? All that chem use definitely prepared you for a career in politics. People respect me because I don't put myself above them, all right? I sling and shoot up just like the next guy. Now, before you bring me down, is there anything else you need? Looking for work. Work, huh? Hmm. I'll tell you what, I got reconnaissance needs. There's a lot of weird talk coming in about a place called the Pikmin Gallery. It's raider territory up there, but they've been quiet. Like uncomfortable post-coitus quiet. Snoop it out and give me the word. I might be interested, but let's talk money, Hancock. Okay. Usual job pays 200, but I like you. So let's push it to 250. You said things have gone quiet up there. That means extra risks to cover. I like where your head's at. Let's make it 300 caps. If you can't put real money on the table, I'm out. Ruthless. Nice. You might actually live long enough for me to pay you. All right, 400 caps. But that's all the town coffers can bear. Scout out Pikmin Gallery. On it. Cool. Be thorough, okay? I'm not paying for a look-see. Find out what's really going on there. Let's go ahead and put on, I think we got to go back down to miscellaneous. Yep, there we go. Let's crouch. We're going to head north towards Pikmin Gallery. Then we're going to take a detour over to Fenuel Hall.
take out those ghouls. Find anything useful on them? Take care of this super mutant with the rocket launcher. Don't want to be dealing with him. Here comes big no. No. Ooh, that was super close. No. Kept seeing that super mutant getting closer and closer. I was like, please don't let me die to this guy. That's how we do things around here. Let's go inside Finuel Hall. You got a light on that fancy wristwatch? That's it. Look me at find the him, eye find him. You die. That's what I call a confirmed kill. I was just trying to reload. Sweet. We are unstoppable. You sure about that? <laughs> Go ahead and hide, little bleeder. Come over here and loot a little bit. Grabbing some clothing. I like to put that on the mannequins for my um, clothing shop. By the way, if you want to turn on the protectrons, you can go into that terminal, turn them all on. I'm not going to bother with them. It's a bit pointless, to be honest. They die super quick. Stop hiding! Someone there! Oh, a waste of time. No you let play! Huh? Damn, what two legendaries back to back, huh? I hear something. Gonna find you soon, human! You're messing with Hello? the best! Someone there? Come out, come out, wherever you are! Time to die! Oh, a noise! Jesus, can I stop getting, like, trash-ass legendaries? This place used to be a market before the Great War. Now, I wouldn't eat in here if you paid me. You where you go? I'm gonna find you! Gonna kill you! Must have 
for nothing. Just checking to make sure that this is all the super mutants. There's two up top. One uh, super hound or super mutant hound, and then a regular super mutant. I just wanted to make sure that I got them all. Go ahead and grab the live and love. Bingo. That's going to give us, uh, not give us, but it's going to give our companions, uh, oh my god, <laughs> fucking can't pronounce things. Companions permanently gain plus 10 health. Oh, jeez. Oh man, I love comics. I could not spit that out, man. Let's go up to the top of Finuel Hall. And then right here at this grasshopper, we're going to pick up. Hell yeah. We get the Gilded Grasshopper quest. We don't need to turn that. Well, we'll turn it on for funsies. But we want to go over to our inventory, go to miscellaneous, and go down to food for the grasshopper. To continue this quest, we have to read this. So be sure you read it. Come over here, we can hop down. Hop down again. And then we can hop down one more time. loot all this stuff then we're gonna turn around head west and then we're gonna take a right over here and head north disarm that Then we're going to take a right and then a left right here. And then a left down here. Right over here, we're going to have some ghouls. Take Quite a down. few of them. Impressed yet? Let's go ahead and dig up Shim... Drown's grave? I think it's Drown's? I don't know. Bingo. We're going to get Shim Drown's sword.
And then we can come over here, hop over this railing. Open this gate. What the fuck was that? You killed him. Huh? Oh, it's a Ow! Don't you die on me. <laughs> then let's go inside. You think we're going to catch this Pikmin psycho? The slippery bastard got away before. But Slab won't leave a oh, man breathing. Hey, boys, found your little secret Pickman entrance Skin upstairs. Alive it's just a matter of time. Let the rats get at him. Gives me the creeps just thinking about it. You're no gonna joke. wish you were never the born, Pikmin. Oh my God, they're all talking oh, over each other. That's what annoying. The Come on out. There you are. Getting bad vibes from this place. Where'd that little fucker go? Nice. Right here, we can pull the picture off the wall, and then we can pick this safe. Sweet. Now, this is kind of early to do this. You don't have to do it, but this is just Pikmin's treasure, quote unquote, or just his like hiding spot for his blade. We can scoop this up. It's actually not a bad melee weapon for all you melee builds out there. Show your face! Come on! I dare you! Let's heal ourselves. They're upstairs. Could have sworn. Keep your eyes open. Think this asshole's using the stealth boy. Still kicking? Jesus! <laughs> 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 Well, they're not going to need that stuff anymore. No, they are not, McCready. No, they are not. Oh, okay. That's what must have killed the dog over there. I was like, why is the dog dead? <laughs> Somebody triggered the uh, rocket launcher. Okay, so we're going to go through the hole in the wall over here. You run, jump. Get yourself a cap stash. Be careful, there's some frag mines down here. I got the door open. Let's go. There's another frag mine this right over good. here. Get over here, quick! You're mine now, rookie. You gotta be joking. <laughs> oh, another kill for me. The hell are they? Where the hell did Can't he come from? Floor. They must have come from behind there.
This is where we could have lockpicked the door and come straight down here. Pikmin! You can't hide forever, you sick bastard. What the hell was that? Oh, it's on! I don't know where they are! Motherfucker! <laughs> ah! Oh! Find them and kill them! Perfect. Let's take some Radex. Either I'm blacking out, or it's dark as hell in here. Where'd that little fucker go? I can't see a thing in here. Chicken shit. We're gonna run and jump. We can get a few Kims here from the first aid kit. Wasting my bullets. I feel okay. you, McCready. That's just about the worst thing I've ever smelled in my entire life. If you go that way, you can skip over a lot of this other stuff. We are going to kill Pikmin, by the way. You don't have to if you don't want to. But because we already got his loot, I'm definitely going to kill him. He's quite evil, even though he's killing raiders. He's essentially a serial killer. You can't hide forever, Pikmin. You hear me? You're a dead man! Think you can hide that? Time to reel him in. Probably a bunch of dead people, man. I mean, you kind of see what we're going through, right? You're asking what that smell is? Finally got you, Pikmin. Thought you could hunt and torture our people to your heart's content? I'm gonna enjoy killing you. Are you fucking kidding me? Take long. Ah! Ah! I can't. Oh! I was just starting to have fun. Excuse me. <sighs> that was close. Thank you. Those people deserved worse than death. Maybe you deserve the same. So saith one born killer to another. Regardless, I pay my debts. I don't care. Take it or leave it. It's up to you. If you visit my house again, look deep within my painting, Picnic for Stanley, and you will find my gratitude. 
You'll need this. I don't know why <laughs> uh, McCready disliked me killing Pikmin. Perfect. Right here we get the astoundingly awesome tails. You'll gain plus five to poison resistance. I used to collect comics like that when I was a kid. Bingo. Right here we get the lock picking bobblehead. Lock lock picking is permanently easier. Good stuff all around. Let's exit out of Pikmin Gallery. Turn on our Pit Boy lamp. Then we'll come over here. And then we will make a left. And then an immediate right. We're going to hop over this. Go back inside Pikmin's gallery. And then we need to go in here to oh, finish the great. quest. Thanks for the nightmare fuel. Let's exit out to North End. We got a level, so let's go ahead and put a level in. I kind of want to do it into Rifleman, but... Oh, you know what? We're going to put it into Rifleman. As soon as we get up to level 39, I think we're going to go with Gun Nut. Let's head north. And then we're going to head west and follow the riverside down over to the Cabot house. Take a left right here. Take a right, left. I'm here to talk to Jack Cabot. Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. Come on. Let's go meet the boss. Sounds good. Jack. The new guy is here. One moment, one moment. I just have to. He'll be right with us. <laughs> oh, damn. Clearly, I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. Pleased to meet you, Jack. And I am very pleased to meet you. Edward finds it tiresome. But I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Whoever lives here must have made a deal with the devil. Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? I'm not sure there's any intelligent life in the universe. At least not on this planet. Hey, you joke, but make a good point. Say humans perish from the Earth, as they seem intent upon doing. 
Say thousands of years from now, a new civilization arose. What would they know of us? I don't understand what this has to do with anything. I'm sorry if I'm rattling on. I sometimes forget not everyone finds these things as compelling as I do. Welcome to the family. Okay. You're officially hired. Congratulations. I'm ready to get to work. Good. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility north of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? Only about a million. You should start at Parsons State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you. It's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? Yep, I'll see you soon with the package. Good luck. Don't get killed on your first job. Ah, hello. Let's go ahead and exit the Cabot house. Right here is where we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody. Have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off. Be advised, you are being watched.